Um, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be uh, called The Spirit Itself Beareth Witness with Our Spirit. Um, because I, I was going down like this rabbit hole on YouTube and started watching uh, these Jakes react to country singers. And, uh, you know, for brothers that know me, like I like country music and, you know, you probably heard this say me say it like over and over again that a lot of, uh, you know, uh, so-called white people down from the Bible Belt from the South, you know, a lot of them are Israelites, you know, because the spirit beareth witness, man. You know, they their lives fall under the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and they got that, you know, soul, they got that rhythm, they, you know, got that swag, you know, it, it's just a different flavor of it, you know. Like I always say, same shit, different air freshener. Uh, but, you know, the even Jake in the world, they, they realize it. But, you know, just because they got a zeal, it's not according to knowledge. But I was watching this one video and I just thought it was funny. I'll share it with y'all. Um, and then I'm going to go into scriptures, you know, breaking down Israelite foreigners and, you know, the Gentiles, so on and so forth. Uh, but without further ado... I'll play this video. I thought it was funny. And see this straw hat wearing brother is about to say. He's smooth, boy. And we're going to see. Thomas. Tennessee whiskey rough going down. Yeah. This dude black. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw when I first heard him, bro, because you know you got um, what's my man's name? Um, um Gary Clark. That's who that. I thought Gary Clark Jr. That's who I thought it was at first. And then and then uh, I went and seen. I'm like, oh my gosh! And like I was like instantly drawn to him from um. What is the song? Cry. Sometimes I cry. I ain't never heard that. Bruh, you gotta listen to that one. Cry and Far Away. And then the way he did with you Justin know Timberlake. All the Jones, don't um, you? Say something. Oh, man. I'm telling him. Keep playing that drum, man. Smooth with it. He black. Black. All the Jones, don't um, you? Say something. Oh, man. I'm telling him. Keep playing that drum, man. Smooth with it. He black. <laughs> but, yeah, that is the point, man. Like, Jake knows in their spirit, like, who their people are. You know, just because they can vibe with them. They got that, you know, soul. They got the rhythm. They got the sauce, swag, whatever you want to call it. That's what they got, man. You know, is we got the light. We got the salt. You know, um, because, you know, if you have understanding of the Bible, you'll know that the Bible is for Israelites, all right, because they're the chosen people. All right, uh, this is uh, Matthew 5 and 13. It says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt uh, have lost its savior, uh, wherewith shall it be salted? It is uh, thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and be trodden under the foot. Now, we use this uh, scripture to you know, say that you know, Israel is the one with the salt, but ultimately it's talking about the prophets you know, having the salt and being the, the light of the earth you know, shining, you know, breaking down the scriptures. And if, you know, if it weren't for us, then, uh, you know, it'd just be cast out good for nothing. So that's why we have to, uh, you know, go out and teach. But also it applies to Israelites, you know, having, being the talented ones. If it weren't for us, America would be nothing. All right. They would have no uh, lively uh, uh, music, uh they would have no uh, uh, buildings being done, you know, being built because, you know, the so-called Mexicans, Latinos, Native Americans and the Negroes, man, like this, this country was built off of the, the, the backs of them, man. But anyways, uh, let's see, 
Negro is a thing. No, it's a Negro. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah 10 and 16, it says, The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Now, you know, Jacob, you know, is, is was made separate from all these other nations. He was later named Israel. You know, he's the former of all things. You know, Israel was the nation to be separate from all other nations. So why would the Most High, you know, choose Israel, but have them, like, you know, just lame? <laughs> it doesn't make sense, man. They, Israel is, like, the best dancers, best artists, best uh, athletes. Uh, um, you know, they're the smartest, you know, so on and so forth, man. You know, when you go research into history uh, of, you know, all the different things that Israelites, you know, the so-called Negro, Native American uh, and Latino, uh, invented, you know, it's like damn near everything, man, and if it wasn't, then it was just a, a, another nation taking credit, all right, all right, or if it, or if he looked like another nation, it more than likely was a, was a Jake, man, um, but yeah, another example is, you know, very talented artist, Chris Stapleton, and, you know, he looks like a so-called you know, white man, but, you know, you can tell in his voice, when he starts singing, man, he's been through it, man, <laughs> the spirit beareth witness with our spirits, all right, uh, Romans 8 and 16, the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, now, this spirit, you know, is capitalized, talking about the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is, you know, this word, you know, the spirit of truth, prophecy, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, what he uh, uh, taught, what he lived, man, all right, <clears throat> what would, and, and so on and so forth, and, uh, you know, part, part of that spirit is, you know, suffering these curses, Deuteronomy 28 and 15, you know, this chapter is about the contract that the Lord made with uh, Israel, uh, showing, or, or <clears throat> this, this chapter is a contract the Lord uh, made with Israel, uh, you know, the first fit 14 verses about all the blessings that would happen to him uh, if they followed the, the his law, statutes, and commandments. And 15 through 68 about all the curses that would come upon him. All right. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15, it says, But it, it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee, you know, and it goes, you know, you can read into it, you know, uh, um, and, and, you know, and, and what, what makes a good artist is, uh, or a relatable artist is, you know, somebody that, that's been through some shit, because that's when people start relating to, to the artist and start, you know, listening to them more and more. That's why you got all these reaction videos to Chris Stapleton, Tennessee Whiskey. And, you know, you watch Jake's reaction. They they get into it, man. Because they feel what he's been to, through. You know, and they're shocked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can you can watch them, man. But um, I'll, I'll get into the uh, scattering of Israel right now. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64 says, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, uh, whether neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Now, check this out. <clears throat> you know, you saw Chris Stapleton. Let me pull up a picture of him right now. You know, that's what he looks like over here. Now watch this. <laughs> wow. 
why, why is there a so-called Negro for his family crest? And he's got others, you know, not trying to be biased, but look at that, man. <laughs> if you do your history, you'll find out that, you know, during the Dark Ages, you know, Jake was ruling Israel, like dark-skinned people were ruling England. And over the times, they were mixing and mingling. They started looking like, you know, whatever this dude on top is. Man, that's weak, man. I didn't see, I've never seen this one with a, you know, of a man lighter complexion on the top of the crest like that. But these are the, uh, like, original Stapleton family crest. Ones with the, you know, appearance of a dark, darker complexion. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, that, anyways, um, yeah, you were once Gentiles. Because right now, Chris Stapleton would be considered a Gentile because... He's ignorant of, you know, that he's an Israelite or the, the meaning of what an Israelite is, you know, or, you know, the gospel of Yahweh Shai. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 12, and I'll start at 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would uh, not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So it says ye were in, uh, Gentiles. Meaning that the Israelites that he was uh, writing to, he said, you were in uh, Gentiles. So the, how does someone convert from being a Gentile to an Israelite? Well, the renewing of your mind, man. When you find out that you are an Israelite, you conduct yourself as such. Because they were considered Gentiles because they were carried away onto these dumb idols. They started worshiping other uh like in the curses, Deuteronomy 28 and 64, uh, the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, you know, ac across Edom, the so-called white man, Moab, the so-called Chinese man, Ammon, the Japanese, Elam, the East Indians, uh, Ishmael, uh, the, you know, uh, Ara Arabs, um, let's see, Amalek, the so-called Israelis, um, uh, Japheth, the so-called uh, uh, Polynesians, uh, Ham, the so-called Africans, and so on and so forth. You know, they're going to be scattered amongst all these people, mingling with them. And it says from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. So every single land, man. It says, and there thou shalt serve other gods, carried away unto dumb idols. Um, And there thou shalt serve... Uh, with, with uh, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. That wood is talking about, you know, the Christian cross. And that stone talking about that, uh, uh, that dumb idol that those uh, Ishmaelite Muslims worship over there in the Middle East. They think that that stone can, like, take all the sins away or whatever. But, you know, we know that only Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai can take away sins, man, um, let's see, <clears throat> let's see, but, you know, that, this is kind of like a, um, not an oxymoron, but a, um, paradox, you know, when, when you start going in, into Israelites and Gentiles, because the Bible is only for Israelites, but yet this word Gentile throws people off. Because people don't understand that Gentile just means, you know, an Israelite that has lost his way. Um, to whom pertain the adoption. <laughs> yeah. This is a good chapter, Romans 9. Uh, uh, I'll, Romans 9, I'll start at 1. I say the truth, and Yahweh Shai, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the, in the Holy Ghost, 
uh, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Yahushai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Because, you know, the Apostle Paul, he was a Benjamin. He was from the tribe of Benjamin, a Benjaminite, which is a tribe of Israel. It says, who are Israelites? So, you know, so he wished that, uh, he says, my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, plainly said, to whom pertaineth the adoption, the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of God, and the promises, whose are our fathers, and whom, as concerning the flesh, Yahushai came, who is over all, God blessed forever, amen. So, <laughs> you know, plainly saying that Yahushai came for just Israelites, because to, to Israel was a covenants, the glory, adoption, law, service, and promises given. You know, it wasn't given to anybody else. You know, it says not, not as though the word of the Most High has taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Meaning, just because you are an Israelite doesn't make you of the chosen of Israel. Because there's an elect and there's, you know, the two thirds that have to be, you know, uh, um, that have to perish uh, in the end times. All right. So just knowing that you're an Israelite isn't enough, man. You have to, uh, you know, practice the law, statutes, and commandments for the best to the best of your ability. All right. Um. Let's see. Uh, I'll get uh, Tobit. No, it's thirteen three. Because this breaks it down plainly, man. I'll, I'll give the chapter. Um, this is uh, Tobit 13 and 3. It says, Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. You know? Israel has been scattered you know, among these other nations. You know, Israelites are not black Hebrew Israelites. Right? Uh, they're not just Latinos, they're not just Native Americans, they're not just white. Let's get that. Uh, speckled. Jeremiah 12 and 9. It says, Mine heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field that come to devour. You know, his heritage, his inheritance, his heritage is Jacob, Israel. The Lord's is. And speckled just means covered or marked with a large number of small spots or patches of color. Um... Speckly, specked, freckled, freckly, spotted, you know, speckled bird just means that they've, you know, mixed. Um, I think it's in uh, Psalms, this one that I'm looking for. Uh, I thought it was like Psalms 106, but these are good too. I'll go to uh, Ezra 9 and 2. Uh, I'll, I'll start at one. It says, Now when these things were done, the princes came to me, saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even to the even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken their daughters for themselves, and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yeah, the hand of the princes and the rulers hath been chief in this in this trespass, you know, because the 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 Most High, you know, gave them law, statutes, and commandments uh, to uh, uh, 
deal with the uh, other heathen a certain way. And the number one reason why it didn't want um, Israelites to, to, you know, start families with these heathen nations is because they'd start following after their gods, you know, going practicing their customs and be led away from the Most High. All right. And sure enough, when they did it, you know, they, were, they started taking up their, their women and giving uh, their women even to their, to their sons to uh, mingle. You know, over time, you know, genetic, it's genetics, man. You know, you pass your genes on down to your uh, uh, offspring. And, you know, sure enough, if you keep doing that, you're going to start looking like these other nations. All right. So Israel isn't just black. All right. Even though they started out being dark skinned, Negroid features, you know, they've been scattered. All right. So calling us black Hebrew Israelites is a, you know, blasphemy. Um, but then, you know, later on in the chapter, it talks about how they repented and they put away the, the other women and, uh, you know, started back marrying into uh, Israelites, man. Um, and they put away their, their idols, too, first and foremost, all right? They gave up on, you know, following after uh, their customs, man. Um, I thought it was like Psalms 106. Might have been 107. Might have been 107. But it just talks about... Uh, I can't think of it. I can't find it find it in uh Psalms. But you know, the point being, man, Israel has been scattered. Alright? And they're you know I I'll, I'll get that in uh Revelation, the seventh chapter. Um Revelation 7 and I'll start at 4 it says and I heard the number of them which were sealed and there were sealed in hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of children of Israel and it talks about each 12 tribe you know 12,000 from each and verse 9 it says after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. So, there's 144,000, the elect of each tribe of Israel. And then, you know, a great multitude, which no man can number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues. Alright? And stood be so, this is one of those paradoxical things. You see a mixed nation, a great multitude of all nations. But you got to understand the promise that was made with Israel. All right. Because this book, the whole book of the Bible is founded on promises that the Most High made with Israel. Once you get that through your thick skull, you'll understand that this mixed multitude is talking about Israel. All right. Because it goes all the way back to Genesis. 10th chapter, let's see, I think it was, uh, yeah, it's Genesis 10, I think like 13, no, it's like, Thirty-five and eleven. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll start at um, 10, Genesis 35 and 10. And the Most High said unto him, Thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And the Most High said unto him, I am the Most High Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. <laughs> So a nation and a company of nations shall come out of thee, all right? And that that promise was, <laughs> it says it, And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee, I will give it. And to thy seed after thee will I give the land, all right? So that promise, this promise that was promised to Abraham and Isaac is now passed down to Israel. Not, not all nations, not all nations that came out of Abraham. See the the nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. That was prophesied to Israel. All right. That's why when you see the twelve tribe sign, you got twelve different. Actually, it's more than twelve nations on the twelve tribe side sign. All right. And there, guess what? There's Israelites that are in nations that aren't on the twelve tribe side sign. All right. That doesn't make the 12 tribe sign inaccurate. It's just deeper, all right? It takes more knowledge and understanding to get, you know. But, you know, you, not everybody's going to get it, man. But the point being, Israel is that nation of all nations. Let's talk about Israel, all right? Going back to the beginning, man. You know, the Most High doesn't go back on his word, on his promise. He said, look, Israel is going to be a nation and a company of nations. And sure enough, that's who's going to be delivered in Revelation, the seventh chapter. But with that, I hope this video was edifying. Until next time, Shalom.